Nobody expected this to happen. So this COVID was a crisis and we've responded to the crisis. When the pandemic hit, Great Neck, Long Island, like so many other areas, was left with vacant storefronts as businesses shuttered. So Regina Gill, founder and executive director of the Gold Coast Arts Center, felt inspired to step in and brighten up the community. The village paid for easels. I got the, the artwork. We got permission from the landlords who were pretty desperate to get the stores some positive attention. Gill's nonprofit joined forces with landlords, the local bid, and other organizations to display work from local artists in vacant storefront windows. After a tough year, Queens artist Lisa DeClerico says it's an honor to have her photography on display here and be part of this mission. It was, was really difficult. I think the arts and, and creative outlets helped a lot of us get through this period of pandemic and isolation, and it's just, it's wonderful to be reconnecting um, with the community and um, getting back. Residents and visitors to Great Neck also tell us they welcome this splash of color. I think it's great. I think it can only add more value to the neighborhood. Um, I think it sends the right message. Um, having closed up storefronts definitely don't attract people. It gives purpose to the vacant uh, storefronts. I think it's given folks, you know, opportunity to see local art uh, from local artists. And I think it's really exciting to see storefronts, for the revitalization of, of the area. The galleries will be here through Labor Day. And of course, one of the goals is to get these stores rented by then. If you do come here and see a piece of art that you love, you can call the Gold Coast Art Center to purchase it. In Great Neck, Long Island, Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News.